And they're off and racing, racing for the Potemps final. Crosskin and Grand Vision well to the fore early on as they head towards the first. Also Topwood not that far away. Out wider, crowning jewel and also taking a handy position is Courts to Tie as they approach the first flight of hurdles. At which Vix Jewel has uh, gone, uh, Vix uh, Canvas, I should say, Vix Canvas, who dived to the right and uh, gave his rider a nasty looking for Robbie Colgan. The horse galloped away okay, but uh, Vix Canvas is on the canvas at uh, flight number one, and uh, they all take that safely. At the moment, if in doubt, is held up right towards the back of the field, also held up towards the rear as the rider Robbie Colgan's got to his feet okay. He is so fine as they step over the third flight of hurdles. Pino de Rey is well back at this stage. It's the Grey Grand Vision and Courts de Tire who are forcing the issue. Cross Kennan racing in third place just ahead of the uh, striped colours of Topwood with out wider crowning jewel. They're tracked by Trust and Times. Fingal Bay at this stage is seventh with Utopia de Bord and Southfield Theatre the next two. They're being tracked through by Seafood under Ruby Wall. Shoes towards the outside of the field at this stage with Patisse as Courts de Tire and Grand Vision step over the next flight of hurdles. Uh, still, if in doubt, is held up with Josie's orders also well back in the field early on. Uncle Jimmy is under restraint. Pino de Rey is another who is towards the tail of the field. So they'll now swing left-handed and begin this uh, steady descent without in front Grand Vision disputing the lead with Courts to tie. Cross Cannon is a couple of lengths away in third place. In fourth is Top Wood. Behind these, we have Crowning Jewel, who is in fifth, just ahead of Fingal Bay. Jetson is in mid-division at the moment with Southfield Theatre. Patisse is in that little cluster with Trust and Times. First Fandango tracks them. At this stage, uh, we have towards the outside Broadway Buffalo. Josie's Orders is the one that's taken very wide towards the rear of the field. If in doubt is another who's charting the wide route as they reach the flight of hurdles on the descent. The Grey Grand Vision and Courts de Tai a step over that flight of hurdles, which again they all negotiate safely. Josie's Orders just chased along on the outside for a stride or two. So out in front, it's the Grey Grand Vision who leads from Cross Kennan and Courts to Tie. In fourth place is Trust and Times racing on the outside of Topwood in the stripes. Shining Jewel comes next at a Fingal Bay, Utopia de Bord going up the inside, Jetson between the pair. Southfield Theatre comes next with Batiste racing on the outside at this stage of Seafood. Mickey is in midfield, the second of the Greys with Mr. Dillon tracking that one and so fine towards the inside. First Fandango, then Broadway Buffalo as tightly grouped, if in depth out and at the rear of the field on the bridge towards the rear with Josie's orders as they race towards the sixth. Cross Kennan and Grand Vision stretch over that flight of hurdles. Once again, the whole field take it safely. So out in front, it's Grand Vision who leads by half a length. Cross Kennan is in second place. Courts to tie races in third, just niggled along. Trust and Times on the outside of Topwood. Behind these, Jetson's orange jacket piercing the gloom on the outer of Utopia de Bord. Fingal Bay has never been too far away. Patisse out a little wider of Southfield Theatre and as they corner, Seafood comes next, Mr. Dillon being pushed along with Mickey on that one's outside as they make their way now down towards the next. The three flights of hurdles coming thick and fast on this part of the race course, Cross Cannon on the outside of Grand Vision, and then Courts to Tie as they approach the next flight of hurdles. Over in fourth is Trust and Times, uh, pushed along Josie's orders towards the outside as Cross Cannon continues towards the centre of this trio of hurdles. Cross Cannon from Grand Vision, Fingal Bay is now improving amongst horses as they take that flight. Trust and Times comes next. Topwood just pushed along. Jetson is uh, being produced. Right there out, Josie's orders making ground. Uncle Jimmy making ground. If in doubt, still right there as well as they step over that flight of hurdles. If in doubt, just drifted back in the field a couple of places, but they're still very tightly grouped as they turn at the far end. Grand Vision on the inside of Cross Kennan. Fingal Bay is poised in third. Trust and Times races in fourth place. Courts de Tai comes next. Jetson is racing in sixth, just ahead of Crowning Jewel. Out a little wider, Uncle Jimmy's made good ground with Josie's orders. If in doubt, still in no hurry, but has moved through into ninth or tenth place as they take the next flight, over which Cross Kennan led. The back marker still remains on the bridge. First Fandango coming off the bridle. They've still got a fair way to go. Not too many flights of hurdles to take, however, and plenty to play for. Grand Vision on the inside of Cross Kennan. In third place is Fingal Bay. Josie's orders has made good ground through the field to sit fourth, with Jetson racing in fifth place as Grand Vision is a little awkward on the turn down the hill. The if in doubt continues to creep closer. Likewise, Seafood. Petit's not far away. So fine has made good ground onto the heels of the leaders. Uh, trying to stay on from the back. Broadway Buffalo in company as well with Pino de Rey. So still on the descent towards the second last fight of hurdles. Grand Vision and Cross Kennan. Fingal Bay travelling very strongly in the wings. If in doubt, may 
big good ground the white cap for AP McCoy as they take the second last fight of hurdles at which Uncle Jimmy blundered and nearly unshipped the rider it's Cross Kennan who leads from Fingal Bay Grand Vision under pressure if in doubt Southfield Theatre around the outside Jetson stays on trust and times as well Cross Kennan's hard at work out in front Fingal Bay poised towards the right trust and times Southfield Theatre if in doubt Pino de Ray coming here on the stand side over on the far side Patisse tries to stay on Southfield Theatre red cap for Darren Daryl Jacob has moved through to press Fingal Bay. Trust and Times in third. Pino de Ray, Cross Cannon, Jetson, Mr. Dillon. They're the front seven as they head towards the last. Southfield Theatre and Fingal Bay in the air together. Fingal Bay lands awkwardly. Southfield Theatre ahead up. Fingal Bay trying to defy top weight. Trust and Times coming home. Pino de Ray coming home. Southfield Theatre and Fingal Bay. Heads apart from Pino de Ray at the line. Fingal Bay in the centre. Fingal Bay in the centre, I think he thinks he's won. The judge will be needed. Southfield Theatre second, Pino de Ray. Then Trust and Times behind these. In fifth place was uh, Jetson right on their heels. And uh, on the bridge, it will go to the judge. Fingal Bay may just have nostril out Southfield Theatre. It's very tight. We've had some amazing finishes this week, but that might just take the biscuits. Oh, it's close. On the near side, we had Southfield Theatre, number two. On the far side, Fingal Bay, the top weight. Well, there's only a pound between them. Number one. In between horses, a huge run from Pino de Rey in third. Trust and Times has run really well in fourth. That's Jetson, last year's third, in fifth. Somehow, on the bridge, has gone through from the back in sixth place, and he's was really jumping scrappily. Goodness, this is so <laughs> close. Paul Nichols is still looking for his first festival winner this week. Philip Hobbs is second, having won the Glen Flarkas cross country chase with Balthazar King. Ooh. Yeah. Do you want to call it? Uh, well, when they went past, I was, I was absolutely certain Fingal Bay had won, yes. and I think Richard Johnson was. When you look at that, you can tell, you can tell the judge is going to milk this for all money when he announces it. You, to be fair, I think I'd milk this one <laughs> as well. <laughs> you, you've got many, many thousands of people yeah. hanging on your every word. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, yeah, golly, it is. Uh, it could be the proverbial, couldn't it? Well, isn't it great the two top weights fighting it out? It's fantastic. I mean, it's yeah, a, one of these handicaps. It's traditionally plotted up by various people, and as you say, the two top weights completely exposed. Here we go. Photo finish for first place. First, number one. Fingal, Fingal Bay's Bay. won it. Fingal Bay has got two. back up. He got the so worst jump ten. of the two at the last, but he is gutsy as class. He's carried top weight to victory here in the Pet Sense from Richard Johnson and Philip Hobbs.